From this presentation, you will learn what distributed transactions are. A distributed transaction, also known as global or exit transaction, typically spans across different databases or even resources like messaging brokers. A good example is money transfer between two different banks. We have to make sure that when money gets deducted from your one bank account, it also gets safely transferred to the other bank account or database. So each bank has its own database and the transaction spans across databases. That is a distributed transaction. It could also be within your organization. The distributed transaction need not always be across different organizations. Within the same company, we might have applications which will be using multiple databases and we have to make sure that all of that work gets done within one single transaction. A distributed transaction involves a transaction manager and one or more resource managers. The transaction manager is responsible for communication between our application and all the resource managers. And the resource managers know how to get the work done by the underlying resources like the databases or messaging brokers. They use a mechanism called two-phase commit. So in case of distributed transactions, the entire transaction gets done in two phases. In phase one, each participating resource manager will, will be writing all the records to the local records. So the transaction manager makes sure that all the resource managers have written the data to a temporary location. If there is any error, they will communicate that error or issue to the transaction manager. And if it is okay, they will communicate that status to the transaction manager. In phase two, the transaction manager now knows if all the resource managers are okay or not. So if they're all okay, then it will tell each of them to commit everything they have written to the temporary location. If there is an issue, then it will ask them all to roll back. To summarize, a distributed transaction makes sure that applications using multiple data sources can do it all or nothing. So everything should happen within a transaction boundary and they do it using transaction managers and resource managers in two-phase commit.